philosophy on, on blocking balls behind the plate. You know, there's three really important things. One, throwing a guy out. Two, receiving a ball properly. And three, blocking a baseball. So for me, what I try to do is when our guy's going to throw a ball in the dirt, two-strike curveball or slider or whatever, we're trying to expand the ball, expand the pitch, making sure, uh, try to get the guy to chase it. Um, basically what I'm trying to do, especially if there's a runner on, uh, is keep the ball somewhere in this area in here where I can control it and still be able to throw the guy out. You know, if you try to take extra base, or if the guy swings out to chase it, the ball doesn't kick away too far, where I don't have to go out and try to make some crazy play to be able to throw him out at first uh, whenever he's running after the ball is a dirty swinging. So for me, I get up here, you know, I try to get 90 degrees as much as I can with my, with my knees, and then all I'm doing is I'm, I'm reading the ball. If the ball's in the dirt and I see it, I'm reading where it's going to bounce at. I'm anticipating it, and I'm, I'm blocking down. And so what I try to do is I try to come forward with my upper body, and my lower body kick back a little bit. And what that does is if you can see, like, my, if you, this is my upper body, it absorbs the baseball. You're absorbing it, and that will decrease the distance the ball will kick away from you. So if I bring one in, I'm going to throw a ball. If I bring one in, boom, you're getting down. It's going to, see, when you're trying, if it's, it's going to hit somewhere in here, it's going to bounce, hit, and hopefully stay in this area in here so I don't have to go out and go get it. So what would be the hardest pitch? What pitch gives you the, the, the most trouble that you don't expect the spin or the bounce? Actually, uh, it's not really that at all. It's a change-up. Change-up. The change-ups are the hardest ones because what they do is the change-up's coming in, and it'll actually skip. And if you don't get that glove down, properly it'll skip under because it doesn't bounce per, like it's like a slider or curveball would when a slider or curveball comes in and it's breaking the spin of the ball hits and it'll catch in an angle because of the spin of the ball it'll make it kick so you almost got to block those offset a little bit probably the best demo we've ever done